So Kale just got the packages. How was it? It was good. Good morning guys. It is super early in the morning and we have an exciting day today. We are going to... <laughs> we... What's that sound? I had to this package out before we get going for the day because it's gonna be out by today. Yes, like I was saying, we have a really exciting day today. As a lot of you know, we love to film how we package things and I always say that I get my boxes and all my packing supplies from Staples and so many of you, so many Canadians out there were saying, Uline, you should try Uline. And so we actually did it. We put in a big order to Uline. And the reason why I wasn't using Uline, wow, I'm so blue. So one of the reasons why I did not use Uline was because when I checked them out three years ago, they did not have a pickup option. And seems like that's changed. And they have a warehouse in Milton where you can pick up your orders if you want to. So that is a huge reason why we have decided to go with Uline because what made Staples better for us was the fact that they shipped for free. And if you considered the shipping that Uline applied on top of the order, it ended up being the same. That and also Staples was pretty fast. So that's why we preferred Staples, but we took the plunge and we ordered from Uline and we're really excited. And another reason why we wanted to check Uline out is because one of the products from Staples that we normally order from there was out of stock. We kept I tr kept trying to look every day and it kept saying out of stock, out of stock. So we tried Uline. That was another reason why we are going down there today. And Uline is one of those places that is really, really great. And I'm really glad that they offer free pickup and that there's a warehouse that we can pick up our order from so close because they do have really great prices for a lot of things. And they do have a few things that Staples does not. Like Kale was mentioning, Staples, I think maybe because it's more open to non-business people, they are more susceptible to having things sold out, but Uline seems to be pretty well stocked all of the time. So that's a huge plus from ordering from them. No, this video is not sponsored by Uline. <laughs> but we decided that today we were gonna take you with us on that drive to Uline to pick up our order. The order that we submitted is pretty big, so I thought that'd be a really good experience for you guys to see exactly what we ordered and why we ordered it. Come along with us and you will get to see what a day in the life is like for business owners picking up a big package from a warehouse. So some of the things that we ordered from Uline, I'm going to tell you guys right now, we have 40 pounds of crinkle that we need. We finally got a tape dispenser. So many people keep telling me in the comments, get a tape dispenser. We got a tape dispenser. We got, what else did we get? Um, we got some, some uh, heat sealer. How do, okay, let me just read to you what it actually is. Shrink bands that are perforated that seal with a heat gun. Another really great suggestion from one of you guys. This is why I really have been loving YouTube because I do give advice here and there for sure, but so much good stuff has come from the comments from you guys who give amazing tips and I am constantly learning. So thank you guys so much for your suggestions because you are definitely making a huge impact on my own business and helping me improve it. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> so we are here at the post office. We are dropping off some packages before we head on the road and we have realized that the best time to go, Kale's heavy out there, the best time to go to the post office to drop off packages are the morning and the evening. We never More go. So the afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> more so in the afternoon. We never go uh, in the middle of the day because the lineup is literally out the door. So yeah, if you have a lot of packages, wait until the beginning of the day or the end of the day. Never go during lunch hour. <laughs> the town is the cutest Victorian houses. This is what we love so much about being in Midland because these houses are century, a century old and some of them are just so beautiful. We really love that that look because we've come from Toronto where all the lots look the same and all the houses look the same but oh my gosh look at this this is our friend Cheryl's B&B so beautiful but yeah it's one of the best things we love about Midland not in being in the water or not in the water <laughs> not in the water near the water and this is one of the prettiest parts of our drive we are going down into uh, a part of town called Four Lake or we're just outside of Midland right Kale? Yep. And over there in the distance, you can see the line of the water and yeah, trees. So where we live is really cool in that it's a town where there's lots of people living there, but then just outside of it, there's gorgeous farmland and water everywhere. 
and that's what we love about it. We get all the convenience of, of the town, of being in a town, and also the beauty of being near gorgeous vistas like this. Would you say, Cal? That it's a really nice place to live. Precisely. So we finally got to our first destination. I forgot to mention that in addition to the Uline order, we also put in an order for lye and we get our lye from a local, well actually not local because this is in Mississauga and we're from Midland, but it's within driving distance. We get our lye from chemical, a lab or what's this type of facility called? But they sell chemicals and lye is one of them and it's called Alpha Chem. How is it? Okay, we, we just had to drive up near the back or something? Yep. So we order our lye from Alpha Chem, and if you are wanting lye in bulk, I recommend you check up on your local um, chemical businesses because they sell so many different types of chemicals here. The only thing we get from them right now is the lye, the sodium hydroxide, but they offer so much, so I might inquire about their other chemicals at some point, but yeah, Alpha Chem, we've been buying our live from them for some time now and we haven't had any issues we really like it and if you wanted to check them out they have a website not sponsored by alpha chem oh the lighting is really terrible Ugh. so i forgot to mention the size bag of lye that we got we get them in 25 kilo bags for alpha chem you can only get them at one bag at a time but that one bag lasts us for quite a long time and that's really what you want to start to be thinking about when you are buying more and more lye and you're always running out is to think about ways you can get it in bigger and bigger bulk finding a chemical business that sells chemicals like sodium hydroxide is a really great tip i basically just googled sodium hydroxide and an alpha chem popped up but i also hear that home depot is a good resource for buying lye in large quantities. So yeah, Alpha Chem, look them up. Highly recommend. We're here. So we made it to the U-Line customer pickup in Milton and it was actually a pretty pleasant drive. You've seen the sun out the whole time. I'm gonna go point you a little bit lower because someone is in the car next to me. <laughs> but yeah, it's been just such a beautiful drive. And even though we had to go through the GTA and it was super trafficy, and it's not always the best, I mean, compared to where we live right now, Midland, but it's always nice to be driving when the sun is out. So Kale has just gone inside and he is gonna grab our order and hopefully it's a pretty smooth experience. We'll see. First time for everything. <laughs> So Kale just got the packages, how was it? It was good. Um, everything seems quite organized in there. It's kind of a going concern. There's a lot of people running around, but they have kind of three greeting tables. So whatever line there is, they know what they're doing. They're efficient. Yeah. They process you and get you out pretty soon. So, yeah, seems yeah. like it was pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. And there are some of our orders back there. A lot's hidden by the box there. Yeah, but yeah, we would definitely do this again in the future, right? Yeah, yeah. If we, yeah. yeah, as long as we have orders big enough, you know, I'm not gonna come down here every Too for a week often, or so, yeah. but yeah, if we can get an order big enough, that's good. So, yeah, and we also like to coordinate. Good to know this is here. We also like to coordinate the pickups too. Like I mentioned, we went to Alpha Chem to grab Lie, and we gra grabbed our Uline order at the same time. You know, if we needed anything from New Directions Aromatics, which is also in Mississauga, well, sorry, Uline is not in Mississauga. We are in Milton, but it's all kind of in the same area, like south, south. <laughs> What would you call this area? Southern Ontario? West of Toronto. West, yeah. west of Toronto, yeah. yeah. It's all kind of in the same area. So if we had stuff from New Directions, Aromatics, we probably would have um, order from there so that we could all do it all in one trip. Because yeah, you don't want to be going back and forth too much. So now that we have that, we will probably head back up north and take a scenic drive doing that. And then when we get home, we will show you what we got. <laughs> I never know what to say to sign out. So we are finally home. I have my U-Haul, my sorry, my U-Line haul over here. And I'm gonna show you guys the majority of what we got. And here's Dempsey also checking it out. <laughs> but I'm gonna set you guys you over here. And we got some respirators, some proper respirators. What we were using originally was our 
some really thin face coverings that were good for maybe painting but really not the best so we upgraded to these kind of to this kind of respirator which will probably block out a lot more of the particles that we encounter when we make bath bombs and foaming bath butter anytime we work with slsa anytime we work with citric acid or even anytime you work with sodium hydroxide you really want to be wearing gear that will help block out those fumes and they are extremely irritating to the lungs and who knows the type of damage that they do over time so definitely a good idea to get yourselves one of these i got one for kale and me next thing we got were some really proper goggles as well dempsey is super curious about this good thing that it's covered in plastic we definitely need eye protection for making soap as we all know lye is really caustic and you don't want to get any of that stuff in your eye so good eye protection is always recommended and definitely something that you should be doing when you're making soap. We also got shrink bands, which will go around the outside of our jars. We sell lotions in jars, we sell sugar scrubs in jars, and body butters in jars, and having a band like this looks a lot more professional. Someone suggested that we do this instead of the electrical tape that we've been doing. So thank you for that suggestion. We hope that this works out. We'll update you on that. We got some hair nets to help us keep our hair out of our product. I mean, I've never had an instance where we've had hair in our product, but it's always good to try to keep that stuff away from your production as possible. And one of the last things we got was this tape dispenser. I get so many comments about how a tape dispenser is something cheap that really helped you guys make packaging easier and faster. So thank you guys for that suggestion. We finally got one and I'll let you know whether or not it's made a difference. I'm sure that it will. <laughs> so that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you found this type of video helpful. I know a lot of you guys sell online and are curious as to where businesses get their packing materials. Uline is a great source for that. And also Uline is actually a great source for other things like safety gear, like the goggles and the respirator that I bought and the hair nets. So check out their website, uline.ca. If you are in the GTA area, GTA meaning greater Toronto area, you can pick up from their warehouse for free. I swear this video is not sponsored. I just want to share with you guys the helpful tips that have been shared with me. I definitely found those tips helpful. If you have any other helpful resources, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And until the next video, keep smiling and keep being awesome business owners. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.